the West Highland White Terrier is one of the only dogs whose tail was bred to be strong enough to pull them out of tight holes. They have the boldest personalities of all dogs. They're tenacious. Westies are also great at finding rats in a maze. But can this Westie earn the title Master Earth Dog? Think type A, that's a Westie. Okay. Cute and cuddly, yes, but this little character is definitely not a lap dog. They're feisty little dogs. They're like little Napoleons. This mug may be cute to us, but for a critter in a hole, this is the face of terror. Terrier terror, that is. Dogs come from Scotland. They are one of the terrier group that was bred to go to ground and dig out varmints, all kinds of things. Westies are close on the family tree to Cairns, Skies, Dandies, and other terriers of Scotland. Originally bred to clear farms, mines, and large estates of vermin, it wasn't long before this working dog charmed its way into the home. They've really become family dogs. They are adorable. They're as cute as a button. That adorable white coat is the most obvious Westie feature. It's double-layered with a coarse outer coat that sheds dirt and debris as it tunnels. A warm undercoat makes it a good cold-weather dog. They were developed from Karen Terriers that happened to be white and bred over and over again until they achieved these white dogs. Legend has it the white coat was born out of a tragic hunting accident. A Scottish nobleman, Colonel Edward Donald Malcolm, accidentally shot his red Cairn Terrier thinking it was a fox. So he said, gosh darn it, I'm going to breed a white terrier so I won't accidentally shoot him hunting. Narrow shoulders, rounded ribs, and wide hips give the Westie's body a bullet shape. This shape allows the dog to wiggle out of tight spaces. But many a Westie still managed to get into trouble. They would often dig themselves deep underground, and the only way they could get dug out was if they barked loud enough so that people knew where they were, and they'd take their shovels and they'd dig them out. It turned out that so many dogs got stuck in holes that a third unique trait was bred into the Westie, a super strong tail. If they're in the hole and you're trying to get them out, you can grab that tail and you can pull on them. It doesn't hurt them. Generations of breeders developed a tail with a robust bone and muscle structure. The vertebrae at the base of the tail are almost equal in size to the rest of the spine. If necessary, the tail can be gripped to pull the dog out of a hole without hurting them. With a straight, hard white coat and jaunty air, the West Highland White Terrier catches the eye of all who meet him. He's a big dog in a little package, willing to take on any challenge, whether it's a new backyard game or a more serious day of work in the field. The West Highland White is one of several terrier types native to the craggy, windswept terrain of Scotland. His precise origins have disappeared into the mists of his original home. But it is known that a pure white, spirited terrier had been developed in Scotland by the late 1800s. Westies were appearing in English show rings soon after the turn of the century and entered American competition in 1906. The breed was admitted to AKC registration in 1908. You'll be seeing many West Highland White Terriers during this presentation. Some are outstanding examples of the breed. Others are less so. All will help your understanding of the West Highland White Terrier. In general appearance, the West Highland White Terrier is a small, game, well-balanced and hardy-looking terrier. He's a great showman with no small amount of self-esteem. The typical Westie should give an unmistakable impression of strength and activity. 
the white coat should be neatly presented. With considerable hair left around the head to act as a frame for his pert and inquisitive expression. The ideal male stands 11 inches at the withers, while the bitch's ideal height is about 10 inches. Small deviations are acceptable, but heights which are considerably over or under these limits are false. The Westie is a compact dog with good balance and substance. He is short coupled and well boned. The length of body from withers to root of tail should be slightly shorter than the height from withers to ground. In evaluating this breed, keep in mind that overall quality and substance are the most important guidelines. A slightly over or undersized dog of good quality is preferable to one of the ideal height which lacks correct proportion and substance. Be sure to feel under the coat in order to properly evaluate head and body structure.